Hey everyone, welcome back to Gamer Treasures. I got a box of the new Kaldheim set here at the pre-release today. I also got my pre-release kit. Wasn't going to play at this store because of COVID. Just picked these up real quick. We got a foil reliquary tower as a bring a friend promo for buying a box. And then we also got the actual buy a box promo, Realm Walker. Uh, choose a creature type. Look at the top card of your library. You may choose creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. Three for two, three shape, shapeshifter changeling. So that's a really cool card. And then I think the um, Reliquary Tower, they just had extras up that were supposed to be for F&M, and now they're not running F&M, so they're just still giving them out. Um, but the card I would like to get out of um, this would be the new Phyrexian. Uh, oh, what's his name? Foreign Clicks. Um, but I don't think you can get the weird art foil or whatever out of this box. I think you can only get them in the set boosters, maybe? I'm not sure. Guess we'll see if we open one. So, oh, that that one got jacked. See what, what's up with the card quality and everything here on the new set. This is a set a box of draft boosters. These were sold to me for one hundred dollars and included the promos. And uh, anyways, it should be fun. So, we'll go ahead and see how it goes. We got a token up front. We got a sulfurous mire snowland. Oh, nice. The three drop angel that I really, really like. Um, to note this token, um, the color looks really faded on it. It like looks dull. Weird. Got the Righteous Valkyrie, Usher the Fawn, which is a crazy Savannah Lion, Rootless U, Ice Blind Pillar. Uh, I'm not really going to go through all the commons or anything. I think the foil would be up at the front of the pack. So these are in... Uh, Different order than I remember. I thought the rares were always at the back, but like they've been switching them up through a couple sets. We got a human warrior. Then we got a snow covered island second. And then we got a foil third. We got a blood sky berserker. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Gains menace to a turn. So we'll put the foils at the rares. And then we got blessings of the frost. Distribute X plus one plus one counters among creatures you control where X is the amount of snow spent to cast it. And then draw a card for each creature you control, power four or greater. And then we got an uncommon Morite the Frost. This is the um, oh showcase or whatever, but this is a non-foil. It looks a little off-centered too. And then we have two uncommons because that took an uncommon slot. We got way down, and then you got your commons here. Raiders car barge. Next up, Elf Warrior. We got a snow-covered mountain. Kai is Onslaught, target creature gets plus one, plus one, and gains double strike until end of turn, and it's got Fortell. And then we got a the Bears of Litjara, three. Um, on turn one, create a 2-2 two, two blue shapeshifter with Changeling. On turn two, any number of target shapeshifters you control gain pace power, 4-4. Four, four. And then on turn three, choose up one target creature or planeswalker. Each creature with power four greater you control deals damage equal to its power to target permanent. I don't know about that card. Um, we got the Weathered Rune. I thought that was cool. Arnie slays the last troll, and then we got a path of world tree. Arachnoform. That's a cool name for a card. Continuing on, nothing too crazy yet. Rhymewood Falls. Followed by Sarul for Realm Leader. 3 for 3 3. Whenever a permanent opponent controls, is put in a graveyard from the battlefield. Put a plus one plus one counter on Sarulf. The beginning of your upkeep, if Sarulf has one or more plus one plus one counters on it, you may remove all of them. If you do, exile each other non land permanent with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of counters removed this way. So this is like a pernicious deed on, on a Sarulf. Valkyrie Sword. Got another other common coal, the Forge Master. We got Doomscar Titan, and then we got Commons Funeral Longboat. I seen that artwork get sold in a group. The booster packs they seem a little longer. The um, and there, whoa! Look at this. This is for the flip lands, I think, or the flip cards. So we got a flip token thing, snow covered island. Oh, we got a mythic now. We got the burning ruin demon. Six six flying for six. When it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for exactly two cards not named burning ruin demon that have different names. If you do, reveal those cards. An opponent chooses one of them. Put the chosen card in your hand and the other into your graveyard. So it's kind of like unburial rites, but better. Not really. It's a little different. <laughs> Elven bow. 
replicating ring, and we got the invasion of genius giants. I thought I said genius. Oh, that's a cool snow land. Shimmer Drifvel. First, I thought the cards were faded. It's just the uh, artwork of the set. They got the the dual snow border, and then the tokens look kind of faded. Okay, so we got our first mythic snow covered mountain. We got the Scorn Effigy, it's a Scarecrow. Fortell, 2-3. Then we got the Cyclone Summoner. When it is the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, return all uh, permanent stars hand except for Giants, Wizards, and Lands. Finn, oh, Car Cardar Doom Scourge. Doom Scourge. Crush the Weak. I like the artwork on that one. Strategic Planning, okay. Keep looking over a little bit. Waiting on a phone call. Oh, this pack looks like it might. Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know. We got a world tree. Uh, I thought this was a mythic. We got the world tree, and then we got an Inga rune eyes. I thought this was a mythic for some reason. That's why I got excited. I like how there's a snow land every pack, and it's either a, a dual snow or a. Um, oh, this zombie berserker looks really cool. Oh, they're not double-sided tokens, duh. Oh, we got a Magda Brazen Outlaw. She's the given the dwarfs plus one plus oh and creating treasure tokens whenever a dwarf becomes tapped. Sack five treasures, search your library for an artifact or dragon card and put it on the battlefield. Nice. And I really love these uncommon lands. They all do something different, but they're all really cool. Very good for commander players. Same thing with all the gold cards. They're like so commander centric. you know, Magda's a, a boss in Diablo, Diablo 3. She's like a fairy wizard. Oh, I got a foil, I think. Foil um, showcase card. Oh, it's just an uncommon. We got a Vega the Watcher. I thought it might have been a rare mythic. Looks a little uh, off cut. If you guys look at it, it's actually cut diagonal a little bit, so it's a little miscentered, but cool card. And then we got a Cosmos Elixir, which is another good one. Goes in any deck at the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if your life total is greater than your starting life total. Otherwise, you gain two life. So basically, you gain two life until you start drawing cards, which is pretty damn good. That pack ripped open real easy. We got a treasure token, Highland Forest. We got a Mystic Reflection. Choose target non legendary creature. The next time one or more creatures or planeswalkers in the battlefield this turn, they enter as copies of the chosen creature. And then it's got Fortel, and it does have a shark from the game Man Eater on it right there. It's a Megalodon. I don't know if you guys can see the Megalodon right there, but yeah, he's a big boy. Okay, Fall of the Imposter. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a game um, on PS4 called man eater and you're it's a shark rpg you level up your shark by eating people and other fish and it's really fun you get special upgrades to like your fins and your uh spine and your armor and your bite and everything okay we got a snow covered swamp oh nice then out of nowhere here comes another mythic kaya um, for minus three, you can exile non-land permanent for plus one, put a ghost form counter on to up to one target non, non-token non creature. It gains whenever this creature dies or is put into exile, return it to the owner's hand and create a 1-1 one, one white spirit token with flying. And then if you get it up to seven, you get an emblem at the beginning of your upkeep. You may cast a legendary spell from your hand, from your graveyard, or from among the cards you own in exiles without paying their mana cost. So I think that would count commander cards as well, and it costs five. And then behind him, we got an Igar, the Freezing Frame. Uh, oh, Freezing Flame. I said Freezing Fame. Uh, Divine Gambit. Let's get another uncommon land. I really love these uncommon lands. Oh, we got a full art land here. Got the. Oh, we got a bunch of snow lands. So we got. Viotal Fjord, then we got the Highland Forest, and then we got the Hingi Gate Pathway, which is the white blue one. Flip land, that's good. Then we got a Vega the Watcher, Rune Crown, and a Rune of Flight. That pack was kind of cool. 
a lot of land in that pack. Three three land like back to back to back. Wish that was a foil, but I don't. I'm not sure if you can pull foils in the regular draft boosters. Um, I think maybe you can only get them in the sets and the collectors. I'm not 100% sure on that. Let me know in the comments below. Okay, we got a Runeforge Champion, which is also a really good one that I like. Enters the battlefield, search your library and or graveyard for a rune card, reveal it, put it in your hand. If you do uh, search your library, shuffle it, you may pay one rather than pay the mana cost of rune spells. And it's three for a 2-3 Dwarf Warrior. We've got an Uncommon Land, and then we also got a Herald King of Skimfar. I'm not going to read all these now. Maybe if there's a good mythic, I'll read it. I'm at 11 minutes, and I try and keep them under 20. Just because uh, most people can't pay attention that long. And I don't edit my videos. Uh, Ruined Crown Foil, and then we got an In Search of Greatness. Another Uncommon Land. I love it. Love it, love it. Oh. We got a Tyrite Sanctum. A lot of cool berserkers. So right now I think we have two mythics. And you should average like five to six a box, I think. Something like that. Oh, nice. We got a dragon I really wanted. Emmer Sturm Predator. Um, I really like the dragons. I've got a dragon commander deck, the Precon, that's been upgraded a couple times now. It's called Draggies 2.0. And it's soon to be Draggies 3.0 because there's a couple dragons in this set that um, I wanted for it. It's fun to play. You just play creatures, hope they have haste, and then you attack. Vault Robber. Oh, another mythic quick bringer. Look, it's a giant berserker troll looking thing. It kind of looks like something off of uh, the Muppets. I forgot what that angry dog dude looked like. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks... I'm sorry, I'm trying to get a good picture. It looks like a Muppet. Anyways, this one is a Mythic, so I'll read it. 5 for a 5 4. Your opponents can't gain life. At the beginning of your upkeep, it deals 2 damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if it is on the battlefield and uh, or if it is in your graveyard and you control a giant and it's got Foretell for 4. Provoke the Trolls is in the pack with the giant. That's cool. Vengeful Reapers, a cool Angel Cleric, uncommon. Okay. Three mythics, I think now. We got the ice tunnel, followed by Kalorvi, God of Kinship, which turns into the Ring Heart Crest. Interesting. And we got the Nafri King. Okay, that's not a double sided pilfering hawk. I mean, Kolvori is a god. It seems pretty decent. Two four four four. It's not a mythic, though, so I'm not going to read it all. Uh, Rally the Ranks is a new type of Crusade, but Crusade's been banned because I guess it's racist or something. So we made a new card called Rally the Ranks, and it's not double white. It's a white and a colorless. And you choose a creature type. It's not all your creatures, so I don't know. Um, the one that gives all your tokens Vigilance and plus one, plus one may be better than that. We got a Foil Crippling Fear. I love it. Um, let's see if you can go. Uh, choose a creature type. Creatures of the chosen type get minus three, minus three. And then we got an Arnie Broken Bow right after it. Um, just a regular human berserker. So we got a couple red uh, showcase art non-foils. And my comments keep going all over the place here. They're going to go bye-bye. You guys go up there. So far, I think this box is pretty good. We got a Fortel token. That's cool. And then we got a Skimfar Avenger, Elf Berserker. Whenever another non-token Elf or Berserker you control dies, draw a card and lose a life. I think that's really awesome. And we got the Frost Peak Yeti. The Raven's Warning. It's uh, actually decent. Uh, this right here, this Binding of the Old Gods, I don't know if my viewers out there know, but this is actually not um, paint or uh, digital. This is actually a piece of wood, and I, I believe the artist that did this, Victor Adami Minguez, hopefully I didn't uh, badger his name, um, I think he auctioned this off. Um, really, really cool piece of artwork.
pretty sure is that one. It looked like the piece of wood that I remember seeing, but. Oh, we got a, this looks really cool. Foil Priest of Haunted Edge. Is... And then we got the Tibalt's Trickery, the counter spell. I really wanted to get one of those. It'll be fun to play with. Um, there's actually a combo deck with Imra Cool, the, the Promised End, where you pay just land, Tibalt's Trickery, and like four spells. And pretty much, I think it's a Cascade spell. Oh, Violent Outburst, and then you pretty much just win the game. Very quickly. Oh, we got a showdown of the Scalds. Three seasons, that's a good uncommon. It's the first one we've seen. Uh, the blue, red, uncommon land, ability land. And while you're there, we've also got a squash. You can't eat this squash though. You just get squashed. We got a shark token, snow-covered forest, and then we got a mask wood nexus that makes two, two shapeshifters in a giant's amulet. A lot of um, very good usable commander cards. I don't know how this is going to affect... I, I don't know. Is this a standard set? I don't know if this is a standard legal set or not. I should have read that. We got the Reckless Crew making Dwarf Berserkers. Got the Uncommon Red uh, Blackland. Oh, we got another insert. We got an ice tunnel, and then we got another mythic. We got the Battle Mammoth. It is five for a six-five trample elephant. Whenever a permanent you control becomes target of spell or building, an opponent controls, you may draw a card, and then it's got foretell for four. So I've got a couple. I got the red one and the green one in this box. And then we got Harold King of Skimfar in the alternate artwork. I think we're up to what, four mythics? Still need a couple more. I, I would like to get a Voren Clicks. Snow Covered Mountain. Oh, we got Toski Bearer Secrets and the alternate art. Okay. Hopefully we're still there. I might have to edit that out. GoPro start recording. Yeah. Don't take phone calls when you're recording. We got a Sorul's Packmate. Oh, another mythic. We got Halvar, God of Battle. Creatures you control that are enchanted or equipped have double strike 4-4 for four, four, four. at the beginning of each combat. You may attach target or equipment attached to a creature you control to target creature. And then on the other side, it's got the Sword of the Realms. Equipped creature gets plus 2, plus 0 oh, and has vigilance. Whenever a equipped creature dies, return it to its owner's hand and it's got to equip for 2. Really cool card. Got another Carter. Doom Scourge. We got the Arctic Tree Line. Oh, we got the Tundra Fumaroil. Tundra Fumaroil deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. Add colorless for each snow spent to cast this. Until end of turn, you don't lose mana as steps, phases, or end. We also got the Colossal Plow. Oh, we got a Doom Scar. One of the cards I wanted. I really want to see this card in full art foil. We got a Fear Judge, Judge of Valor, Angel Cleric. It's the first one of those I got. Really cool looking card. Um, probably an Angel deck or a Cleric deck is what it would go in. And those cards just keep... That Demon Bolt just doesn't want to stay put. Next up, we got a Treasure Token. Snow Covered Mountain. Oh, we got another foil. Where are we got? Burgi, God of Storytelling. 3-3 three, three for 3. Whenever you cast a spell, add one red until under turn. You don't lose mana as steps and phases in. Creatures you control can boast twice during each of your turns rather than one. On the other side, it has a Horned Fell, Horn of Bounty. Discard a card, exile top two cards of the library. You may play those cards this turn. So that's cool. And then the Blood in the Snow is next. I'll sleeve these up later. Um, that's a really good card. Then we've got Carter's Vicious Return, Crush the Weak, Clarion Spirit. Rhymewood Falls, and then we got Waking the Trolls off the, the off the park bench. They'll be like, "We're the bad energy trolls. You must pay the toll." Okay, snow-covered forest, and then we got the Icebreaker Kraken. 
It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. Costs one less for each snow you control. Then you return three snow lands to your owner's hand to return it to his hand. And then uh, when it enters the battlefield, artifacts and creatures target opponent controls don't untap during their next controller's untap step. And then they got to deal with the Kraken. Okay. Two packs left here. Can we get another Mythic? Come on, Foil Mythic. Nope. Carfell Harbinger, and then we got another Burgy God of Storytelling that we got on foil a couple packs ago. So not in that one. We're going to our last pack here. Let's see. Got a Shapeshifter token, and oh, nice. We got a Cosmina God of the Voyage. So at the beginning of your upkeep, you may exile it. If you do, it gains whatever a land enters battlefield under your control. If Cosmina is exiled, you may put a Voyage counter on it. If you don't, return it to the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it and draw X cards where X is the number of Voyage counters on it. So it's kind of a weird card, uh, but I think it's not bad for a rare. Okay, let's uh, double check, see how many Mythics we got here. In this box, we got two foil rares. We got a counter, red counter spell. That's kind of cool. Is the crippling fear was the other foil rare? I think we only got four mythics. Maybe we got five. We got one uh, double sided non foil land. We got a Kaya. Oh, we got a demon. So we had we had five mythics in this box, not four. So we got Quickbringer, Kaya, Burning Rune, Demon. Battle Mammoth, and then Halvar. So let me know what you guys think of that. Um, I hope you guys pull really well on your boxes. Have fun with this new set, upgrading your decks. And um, if you're able to play a draft or something like that, have fun doing that as well. Stay safe. Have a great weekend, and thanks for watching.